Hey guys, just want to do a quick video on my uh, Ender 6 uh, printer that I was having trouble with. Basically the filament was getting chewed. Um, took me like three weeks to figure this out. Uh, by the way, I've got an Ender 6 with a Volcano E3D. Uh, it's a pretty funky setup, but I finally got it working. I got Peru Cement Pet G. And for some odd reason, uh, I would print like maybe like maybe it, it will print maybe like a like quarter inch up and it, it would just get stuck so I, I, it just baffled me because i just recently uh checked everything and then it and then what i did was i even ordered a new extruder head here and i even cut the springs because i i thought it was uh i thought the extruder gears were actually grinding the um the filament so it turns out, um, so I'll finally, after two weeks of just, just cutting, just wasting filament, um, I did everything, retraction settings, blah, blah, blah. I finally figured out it was actually my uh, nozzle that was getting, uh, when I opened it up, what happened was I used the uh, computer, uh, the thermal paste, uh, when I rebuilt the, um, the hot end here. And what happened was the hot end, um, the thermal paste, I forgot to clean it off. And what happened is it started squeezing out. And basically what happened is it formed a connection between the heat sink and the hot end, the metal part down there. So what happened was the whole point of having the heat sink there is so it's separated from the bottom hot end. Now what essentially what did the extra thermal paste that got between the hot end and the um, the cooling up there, uh, basically it connected the two, so it was causing sort of a, uh, what do you call it? It, it, it's basically caused it to clog after a while, so it would print just fine. So it was something hard to figure out, uh, my best uh, suggestion, uh, if nothing else works, then pull apart your hot end, especially if you have an aftermarket hot end like mine, um, especially, and also it was also leaking, so it was multiple problems, and then I fixed that. Now, the funny part is that the reason why I'm actually printing this part, this is actually for my new printer over here. My room's been a, just a mess because I was building this printer and one of the nuts got stripped, so I couldn't use that part. So the reason why I ordered this one was because I was having trouble printing Pet G uh, with the Ender 6. <clears throat> now I fixed my printer. I had to fix my printer to print the, the additional part I broke for the Prusa. Uh, this is the latest MK, what was it, 3, 3i or whatever. So i finally going to be able to print this. Uh, this is Pet G. Right? I really prefer the Pet G because, um, you know, with with uh, carbon fiber is cool too, but it's just very costly. Pet G is, you know, I think the perfect material for most things that I'm trying to do. So I'm really happy that I stuck with it and got that fixed. So if you have... Uh, grinding uh, grinding filament uh, the first thing you should really check is really your temperature I'm printing out at 250 by the way um, I've got the octo print on here uh, with clipper firmer and uh, another thing um, definitely check your springs uh, with the ender especially it actually grabs on real tight and the, what I did is I actually cut the spring off so a lot of people do that and I just have it barely gripping um, so that could also help your prints also, I think. Um, now, I don't have my retraction settings uh, exactly the way I want it, so I do have a little stringing, but I'm going to bring that back up and I should get rid of the string completely. Uh, but a lot of learning process. I did a lot of stupid things. Like last time I had the, the, <laughs> the cooling fan here off, I, I plugged into the wrong one, and it, the nozzle kept getting clogged. So I was like, what's going on? That's because I moved this printer from... Uh, my home in America to here in Korea, uh, South Korea, and uh, and I fixed that, and that took me weeks to figure out. So sometimes simple problems, um, it's always going to be a problem, uh, one of the basic problems. So always check your basics. Anyway, that's how I solved uh, grinding filament with the Prusa Mint Pet G. See you guys later.